Uh, welcome back for another one here. So we've got a video of a CTV reporter just ripping Christia Freeland. She she's asking her questions, and then when she starts, you know, Christia Freeland, she does that the thing she always does, where she's just like, "Oh, thank you so much for the great question." Blah blah blah, and it's like. Do you like bananas? Oh, I think potatoes are good. Like it's always just never answers the question, always talks about something else. It doesn't matter what it is. It's always, oh, Canada has a AAA credit rating. It's like, oh, I asked you if you like to go to the park with your kids. Like it, do it doesn't even... <laughs> It's it's never on point, but this reporter doesn't let it slide, and she just keeps ripping into her. It's awesome. Check this out. Today, and we're just going to keep on building. I'm going to push back respectfully on the idea that those measures collectively are uh, really significant, because I'm even listening to the numbers that you're that you're putting out there about what each individual measure will generate: thirty thousand, tens of thousands. Maybe at the end of the day, as the housing minister said in an interview last week with us, hundreds of thousands of homes. The CMHC says there needs to be three. 3.5 million new units constructed above and beyond what's already planned by 2030 in order to restore affordability. What you're proposing doesn't even come close. So again, the criticism that you're hearing from the opposition is this won't help me with the problem now. Again, I just disagree. Each one of these measures, and I listed four serious measures that are in the fall economic update right now, and they, they come on top 000. of more than that, because these are year after year after year, and they come on top of significant measures that we announced this fall, and we're just going to keep on going. Also about things like right, the first home savings account, 250,000, more than 250,000 Canadians have opened a first home savings account. So, you know, to me what that shows is Canadians, many Canadians want to buy a home, they believe in it, and they're glad that there is a way for them to save up for for that home. Sure, those 250,000 for sure, but there are hundreds of thousands of other Canadians who are constantly reaching out to us saying, we have a job, we have two incomes, and we still cannot afford a home. And I, I'm going to again push back because I know you're saying you disagree with the assessment that what you're doing won't meet the moment in how acute the crisis is, but Again, 30,000 for Airbnb, 30,000 for the other measure you announced. I know you're doing something. I'm not trying to intimate that you aren't, but it does not even come close to so, so 3.5 million. Uh, Will it ever? Again, I, I just respect, this, uh, again, like, yeah, thank you for your question. Uh, really important question, and really and important and issue. Uh, and I think the point is we have been investing in housing since we formed government. We have been taking urgent action this fall with really meaty measures. The lifting the GST on purpose-built rental alone is a game changer. But you promised that we, almost seven years ago. And, and, now, and, and now it is in place and it is making a real difference. The other measure, the other measure that... When you first promised it though, and, and did your inability, your government inability to see the crisis as it was developing lead to less effective impacts on what you're doing? I, I just disagree. I think the reality is Canada is a growing country. We are so lucky in the G7 that we actually have a growing population. That is a huge economic advantage. But the first part of my question, uh, you said you disagree with, but you didn't, so you didn't really answer it. And that is, for example, when you, when you talk about removing the GST, that is something that your own party in a couple elections ago recognized as necessary to address the issues with housing at the time, but you didn't pursue it. Why were your why was your government why did it take until this fall to act with the urgency that you now characterize your, your actions as? Again, what I would say on housing, and I think Canadians understand this, is there is no silver bullet. There is no one measure that is going to respond to the housing needs of Canadians. And meeting the housing challenge is gonna be something that we're gonna to have to do every day, every week, every month going forward because we're really lucky. We're a growing country. So if we yeah, keep on, if we, but if, a couple if months we keep ago, on, the Prime Minister was saying it's not our primary responsibility. What we believe and what we have been demonstrating is 
that housing is something we all have to work on together. It's, so there's like tons of things we have that. to do. And I'm not and trying to take away from the complexity of it, but I'm also putting myself in the shoes of Canadians. Like so many people, You're you and I Canadian both know, too. but I, I'm lucky enough to, got, to have bought a house before it was really expensive. And so I can afford it now, but there are a lot of people who can't. And I'm, I'm just thinking of them watching tonight and thinking, Will my will it will the, will I have a better ability in the near future to be able to afford a home? And really, because of the delay in which with which your government introduced all this stuff, which may end up working really well, it won't for a few more years. And and there, I just disagree because part of what is happening. So you think tomorrow somebody else, somebody or the next few months will have an easier ability to afford a home? Part of what is happening right now is programs that we announced in earlier years are landing and are making a difference. But the debt servicing costs, because that's gonna generate a lot of headlines. It increases in, in this document to, to $60 billion. And I think, we were just talking about in the last segment, if I had to spend a lot of money of my disposable income just paying off my credit card, it's a lot less for other important programs that, that your government wants to pursue. Are you gonna do anything to mitigate that number in the interim? Well, I think we are, Vashi. I mean, the first question you asked me was, and kind of continue to ask me appropriately, was, are you doing enough? Are you doing enough? Are you investing enough? And then your second question is, are you doing too much? Or are you spending too much? Well, so that's actually that, two separate issues. I'm asking but, an no, issue but, of affordability no, but, versus other no, things but, you're spending, but like but 30% increase in the size of public services. But, there, but th those issues are connected, right? Um, the, the Our investments are what makes you know, are, we have a fiscally responsible plan and we have a fiscally okay. responsible I, I plan lost, uh, like, in know, order to be able to invest in Thank Canadians. You. But we know we need to invest uh, in Canadians. And so, so you're comfortable there is, with that level of debt costs. costs. I'll tell you what I'm comfortable with. I am comfortable uh, so with the fact just, uh, that Canada uh, has the lowest debt uh, and the lowest debt to GDP ratio in the G7, and we have a AAA credit rating. My favorite part of this interview is when she kind of interrupted her and said, don't you think that would have been better eight years ago when you promised it? That was great. It's nice to see some reporters with a backbone. Obviously, our media, legacy media, is just being mostly propped up. Not all of them, but mostly, most of them are being propped up by the government. They become the puppets. It's really sad. There's lots going on now. There's lots of pushback. The government does, just seems to be doubling down on all this nonsense. More taxes, more taking our money, more giving money to Ukraine. It's, it's just crazy. It's crazy the times we're living in. So hope you guys uh, stay fed, stay warm. I'll see you in the next one.